observe the measures of pots in the given figure how many jugs of water can the cylindrical pot hold so here radius of the conical water jug that is small r is 3.5 cm height of conical water jug h is equal to 10 cm radius of cylindrical pot capital r is equal to 7 cm height of cylindrical pot capital h is equal to 10 cm we have to find the number of jugs so let n be the number of jugs of water that cylindrical pot can hold so n will be equal to volume of the cylindrical water pot divided by volume of conical water jug we can put the formula so we have pi capital r square into h divided by 1 upon 3 pi r square into h now we can cancel pi from the numerator and pi from the denominator 1 upon 3 which is in the denominator the reciprocal of that 1 upon 3 will become 3 so hence we'll write it in the numerator multiplied by r is 7 square multiplied by 10 height divided by small r is 3.5 so 3.5 square into 10 Now here we can cancel one ten from the numerator and one ten from the denominator. Also, seven is twice three point five, so we can cancel it. So three point five ones are and that is twos are. So we will have the remaining numbers as three multiplied by two square that is two into two. So that will give you twelve. Hence we can write. Thus, the cylindrical water pot can hold water of twelve conical water jugs. Second, in the given figure, a toy made from a hemisphere, a cylinder, and a cone is shown. Find the total area of the toy. Here, we will first write what is given. Radius of the sphere. that is equal to radius of the cylinder and radius of the cone all the three radii are equal to r that is 3 cm height of the cone small h is equal to 4 cm and height of the cylinder that is capital h is equal to 40 cm let us now first find the slant height that is l and it is equal to in the square root R square plus h square, so that will be equal to three square plus four square in the square root. Three square is nine, and four square is sixteen, so it becomes twenty-five. Square root of twenty-five is five, hence l is equal to five centimeter. Now the total area of the toy is to be calculated. and that can be equal to curved surface area of the hemisphere plus curved surface area of the cylinder plus curved surface area of cone now we will put their formulas so hence total area of toy will be equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r capital h plus pi r l Now we will put the values of the radius and the height as well as the slant height. So we have two pi into three square plus two pi into three into forty plus pi into three into five. Now two multiplied by three square that is nine gives you eighteen. So we have eighteen pi plus two into three into forty gives you two forty pi plus. 3 into 5 will give you 15, so that will be 15 pi. And addition of all the three numbers gives you 273 pi centimeter square. Hence, the total area of the toy is 273 pi centimeter square.